Hi there, I'm Victor Calino Jr. and welcome to Circuits from the Lab. Whether you are an experienced engineer or a first year student, your projects all need power. And it's pretty rare that the power source you have available exactly matches what your load requires. Step down or buck converters and step up or boost converters are clever circuits that efficiently convert a power source from one voltage to another. These circuits can be a bit intimidating to understand, especially for undergrad EE students and engineers in field other than power electronics. That's why the ADLM Ezer 1 comes in. The ADLM Ezer 1 is an active learning module designed to provide a hands on, intuitive approach to learning about boost and buck converters. The lab exercises for this module, along with complete LT SPI simulations, are freely available on the Analog Devices Wiki and include boost and buck, open loop and closed loop operation in both voltage mode and current mode. Without further ado, let's unbox and set up this module. The package contains several standoffs and matching screws, a supply of jumpers, a micro USB cable, and of course, the ADLM as our one. Naturally, the first step in bringing up the board is to install the standoffs. Finger tight is just fine. The only other preparation is to put a little drop of silicone or thick cyanoacrylate glue between the temperature sensor and the inductor. This is optional, but a good idea if you'll be testing unknown operating conditions. The ADLM SR1 requires two sources, a 5 volts housekeeping supply and experiment power. The housekeeping supply can be almost any USB power source, but we recommend an old phone charger. Use the supplied micro USB cable to connect the supply. The other input is experiment power. This can be your favorite adjustable benchtop power supply, 0 to 12 volts at 2 amps will cover all of the experiments. If you don't have a favorite power supply, take a look at circuit node 0508. Connect your power supply to TP9 and TP10 as well as a multimeter so we can keep an eye on the input voltage. The ADLM Ezer 1 provides several output measurement points. The output is available directly on turret posts TP5 and TP6 along with their corresponding banana jacks. Connect another multimeter to these test points so we can measure the output voltage. An adjustable electronic load is essential for testing power supply circuits and usually quite expensive. But luckily, the ADLM Ezer 1 has one built right in. The electronic load's current can be measured at TP25 with another multimeter with scaling factor of 10 milliamps per millivolt. The ADLM Ezer 1 provides numerous test points for controlling and measuring nearly every aspect of circuit's operation. We will cover this in much more detail in future videos. But to give you an idea of what to expect, here we have the ADLM Ezer 1 configured as a boost converter in open loop voltage mode where we can directly control the duty cycle. You can see that the 5V input voltage is magically being boosted to 10V at the output. Here we have the Scopus GUI's oscilloscope showing the circuit switch node and inductor current, measured with an ADLM2000. Usually, taking current waveforms like this requires expensive, high-speed current probes but like the electronic load, the ADLM Ezer 1 has this built right in. Since we're in this continuous conduction mode, increasing the load current will cause the output to drop, and we can manually increase the duty cycle to compensate. Doing this a few times gives one an appreciation for the job that the regulator's error amplifier tirelessly performs. Naturally, Closing the loop with ADLM Ezer 1's onboard error amplifier is one of the many interesting experiments you have to look forward to. For more information, 
visit the Pradic landing page at analog.com slash ADLMSR1 and documentation experiment instructions at wiki.analog.com slash ADLMSR1. See you in the next video as we're going to dive into our first activity.